Hi, I'm Dave Koss from Brograph.com. I remember the first time that I used Octane thinking what a game changer it was. And there were some things that took time for me to figure out. And there've always still been some things missing to me. Things that understandably don't come with the third party render engine in Cinema 4D. But over the last couple of years, we've been making great content faster thanks to Octane. We've been taking notes along with our colleagues on what we think are missing and also what shortcuts we'd like to see as Cinema 4D artists using Octane. Today, I'd like to announce the arrival of Brograph's first plugin called Luminous. Luminous is a plugin specifically designed for Cinema 4D Octane users, so we'd like to give you a preview of it today. The number one thing that I've always wanted in Octane is a spotlight, and I think that applies to a lot of people. Not that it's not possible without this plugin, it just takes a lot of time to build it yourself. Not only that, but you don't have the same viewport feedback that you would with a standard Cinema 4D Spotlight. We've created an Octane Spotlight that has the same look and feel as a standard Spotlight in Cinema, with all the controls for cone width, fall off, and focus distance that you would expect. You can even see what you're building right there in the viewport. The spotlight will give you real-time OpenGL shadow and color or color temperature feedback. You can control your color temperature or easily switch to using the light color options all in one place without having to skip around to different objects and tabs. You can even easily drag and drop a target object if needed. We also added a nice set of preset gobos for your spotlight, including things like trees, windows, spirals, a flashlight mode, and more. You even have the ability to add your own custom gobo and select between Luma or Alpha Matte interpretation. For modeling purposes, we've created the Quick Sky. Most of the time I like to model with real-time Octane feedback, but Octane doesn't look good without some sort of sky. I kept finding myself setting up an HDRI sky, frequently using the same basic HDRI files over and over again, but these are straight to the point presets and are perfect to quickly get an idea of what you're working with in different environments without searching your library and settings every time you start a new model. Choose between outdoor, indoor, or studio. It's that simple. Quickly rotate your HDR right from the Quick Sky tab. You can add your own HDRI file or choose a flat sky color without missing a beat. There are also black or white sky quick options for when you just need a flat sky right away. Simple daylight presets also exist to help you quickly see different times of day at different angles. Sykes are a simple thing to build, but we wanted to include this simple bonus just to help you save even more time when you're using Octane. The Brograph Psych has width, height, and depth control as expected, but also gives you control over color, roughness, and reflectivity using Octane materials. It's very simple and to the point, but when you're in a hurry, it'll get you where you need to be faster. Our softbox has many of the same features as the spotlight, including the viewport feedback. The softboxes come with stands and barn doors for the purposes of studio reflections, but can also be turned on and off if needed. The stands are always upright, no matter which way you turn the light, and the height is adjustable. The barn doors are fully controllable as well to help you craft your studio scene just like you would in the real world. And you can choose between multiple light types to create subtle differences in your reflections. Alternately, you can use a ring light, which gives you the same features of the softbox, but also an added inner shadow. There's also a built-in Octane camera you can switch to for that distinct ring light look. The ring light also has variations such as flat, bulb, and LED. That wraps up our preview. Brograph has been trying to pay special attention to what artists in the industry really need in their day-to-day -day environment and put practicality over gimmicks. We like to think about what we would like to have on hand in our day-to-day -day environment ourselves and share it with you. This is only the beginning though. We hope to add to the Brograph plugin collection in the years to come and we're very excited about it. If you'd like to see more details about this plugin and all the ins and outs of it, you can check out the video series on how to use it. We think it's going to be as helpful to you as it has been for us. Later, bros. It's pretty good, I guess.